it turns out that sleep deprivation can temporarily alleviate depression. While we've known that this wake therapy works, we haven't exactly known why or how. But a new study has gotten us closer to the answer, and it may help us figure out how people can get those same benefits without losing sleep. This study gave questionnaires and brain scans to participants before and after a sleepless night. Most people without depression felt worse without sleep, but nearly half of those with depression reported better mood. For those who felt better after an all-nighter, the brain scans showed increased activity in two regions. First, the amygdala, that little emotional almond in our brains. And second, the anterior cingulate cortex, or ACC, a brain region that's connected to depression. So the researchers think that sleep deprivation might actually be helping the ACC better perform its job of quieting the amygdala and boosting mood. It fits with the existing theory that a sleepless night can help jumpstart depressed brain cycles back into a healthy pattern. Unlike antidepressants, wake therapy can have immediate results. But side effects include anything that comes along with pulling an all-nighter, like impaired judgment or feeling cranky, and poor focus, yeah. poor focus, poor focus. <laughs> you also probably shouldn't be operating heavy machinery or driving. So can people get these benefits without the side effects of sleep deprivation? There's actually a non-invasive treatment for depression called transcranial magnetic stimulation. It works by applying magnetic waves to the patient's brain outside the skull. But for it to work, you actually have to stimulate the right areas. That's why the study matters. It might actually give clinicians better targets. So if you have depression, this hack could temporarily reset your brain, but use with caution.